You sing it during assembly. You may have sung it on Australia Day, at a citizenship ceremony, or alongside your favourite sports star. But do you know how Australia came to have Advance Australia Fair as her anthem? Until 1984, the Australian national anthem sounded like this. God Save the Queen was used as Australia was part of the British Empire. Even in the 1820s, Australians began to ask about whether this anthem truly symbolised Australia. The desire for our own national anthem grew and grew until 1973, when the Australian Council for Arts invited the general public to submit entries to the Australian National Anthem Quest. The Australian Council for Arts had high expectations though, and not one of the 2,600 entries were thought good enough. It's a no from me. Instead, they chose three existing songs to go up against God Save the Queen in a national poll in 1977. Song of Australia by Carl Linger. Waltzing Matilda by Banjo Patterson. And Advance Australia Fair by Peter Dodds McCormick. Advance Australia Fair was a clear winner. The song officially became our anthem in 1984, but not before the lyrics had been changed to make it more inclusive and representative of Australians. For example, in verse 1, Australia's sons let us rejoice became Australians all let us rejoice. And in verse 2, for loyal sons beyond the seas became for those who've come across the seas. The Australian government considers the national anthem to be one of the important national symbols of Australia, helping to identify the country both at home and abroad. It also aims to unite the nation in showing joy and pride in being an Australian. However, some people feel Advance Australia Fair does not represent Australia. Some feel that some of the lyrics are old fashioned, while others feel that Indigenous Australians should be included. Do you think the anthem represents Australia? What other symbols of Australia can you think of?